Welcome to the Lift Zone. It's your boy Nate, and today I'm coming to you with the Lift Notes. Okay, what's happening this week with Lift? Okay, um, today got a whole bunch of people walking around in green and white, so people are out partying like crazy. So today is March 12th. Um, I'm in Philadelphia, and it's getting warm. Okay. So it's getting warm, so people are going to be out, okay? And when people are out, they need what rides, okay? I think it's probably going down the whole East Coast, okay? It's getting this warm front, and we'll probably, I'm not trying to be a weatherman or anything, but we'll probably um, ride this warm front until, <clears throat> until the springtime, okay? So that means people are going to be out. So if you have not signed up for Lyft, Look, go to my description and get signed up. Philly just upped their bonus to $350, okay? And I've been seeing all over the country that Lyft has raised their um, bonus, okay? But you got to have the code to get the bonus. In Atlanta, I think they're pushing up to $500, okay? So wherever you are, in most places, okay? Um, Lyft has upped their bonus in most markets because they know the demand is going to go through the roof. Okay, because it's getting hot. So anyway, let's get back to the lift notes. So we got the green and white. Okay, so they, they're out like crazy this weekend. Um, you got March Madness. Okay, people are going to be out for March Madness. Some of the other things that's happening with Lyft is that um, now you can request a ride through, through Facebook Messenger. Guys, that's big. That's way big. So... Um, for those passengers out there, if you do want to request a ride, you can do it through um, the Facebook, okay, the uh, Facebook Messenger. But this weekend, this weekend is so big, I mean, I do drive um, Uber some also. Um, Uber e even has guaranteed hours for this month or, or this weekend, okay? And they'll probably be doing it. I got the guaranteed hours for um, Lyft for the next coming weeks. And, I mean, they are going hard. It's almost all day, um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, there's guaranteed hours, okay? Now, for those of you who don't know what guaranteed hours are, what are they? Guaranteed hours is where Lyft is saying, okay, if you're in drive mode, you know, an hour is 60 minutes. So, they're saying if you're in drive mode for 50 minutes or more in an hour an hour is 60 minutes okay so 90 percent of the time you're in drive mode and you do and you complete at least one trip in that 50 minutes then we're going to pay you just say it's 20 dollars okay so what if you make 10 dollars then what they're going to do is they're not going to give you 30 what they're going to do is supplement that other 10 to get you to 20 dollars okay so back to the lift notes what else is happening um, new in Lyft? Um, in Philadelphia, I hope we don't get that Lyft line, okay? Um, we got the Uber pull, and just to switch over to Uber real fast, okay? Um, in Philadelphia, I guess people have been leaning on Uber, talking about this Uber pull. Well, for right now, they're giving you like um, uh, a guaranteed $8 a trip. Okay, for Uber Pool. So they're making a minimum or a bottom for Uber Pool because a lot of people, including myself, have been complaining about it. So if you're already in Lyft, go in my description and you can get the link to Uber also. Okay, but back to the Lyft notes. Um, what else is Lyft doing? Um, I think that's about it. Um, not too, yeah, I, I really can't think of anything else. Um, I went out on Thursday night, today's Saturday. I went out on Thursday night just to give you a little bit tales from tales from the uh, lift zone. Went out on Thursday night. It was an okay night on Thursday. It had just gotten warm, okay? So there was a couple um, people out. So we did pretty decent. Friday was last night, which is usually one of the money nights, um, Friday and Saturday. I didn't go out because I had grad school class, okay? So I had grad school class this morning, so... I, I didn't go out driving last night, um, and I'm running a, f a few errands right now, but um, at 7 o'clock, I'm hitting 7 o'clock till 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the morning, okay? So look, we are going to get this money, okay? We are going to get this money. Um, if you sign up, 
again, let's not make excuses, man. Let, let's make adjustments, okay? Um, this ride sharing business, um, it affords you a lot of benefits, okay? Number one, you're a 1099 employee, so you can write off a lot of things tax-wise that you can't do as a W-2 employee. I think most people know that. Um, is it all good? Show me a job that's all good. Um, you, uh, even my regular nine to five, there's things that I don't like about it, okay, that I wish I can change. Well, with ride sharing, it's going to be that also, but I think the pros outweigh the cons by a lot, okay? Um, if you're not making money out there, for most people, okay, not, I'm not going to say all, but for most people, if you're not making money out there, I probably would say that there's something wrong in your strategy okay if you're just driving around um looking for passengers then there's probably something wrong with your strategy you really have to study your area okay when do people come out for example in philadelphia um thursday friday saturday people usually come out seven to eight they usually come from and i've said this in, in many many um, YouTube videos, but people come from outside to the city and then at night they go from the city back out to the suburbs, okay? So you really have to study where you are. Um, another suggestion of mine is to, um, if you haven't yet, be a passenger of uh, Lyft and be a passenger of um, Uber too so you, you can see how the experience is for the passenger. That's going to make you that much better of a driver okay um trying to think of anything else that I, I can tell you as far as some changes with lift um in in these uh lift notes i'm, I'm going to start bringing this to you um every week okay um lift notes as far as what's going on different with lift and um even throw some uber stuff in there if uber is having any um changes <clears throat> or not okay but um hey look man it's your man nate if you do have any questions um put Put, put them in the description, okay? And I'll be definitely um, looking for them and I'll be definitely looking to answer them. But look, y'all, this ride sharing is one of the best ways, okay, for you to make some extra income. It's, I mean, if you have a car, I don't really know what excuse that you could come up with, okay? Uh, but you don't, want, you don't want no money, okay? Because it's definitely out here to get, uh, people are definitely paying and yeah, could Uber be paying more money? Yup. Could Lyft be paying more money? Yup. Okay. But they're paying what they're paying. Okay. Okay. So you got to make it work for you. So try to cut your overhead. That's one of the things, you know, the old people used to say, um, to save a buck, it's like to earn a buck. Okay. So if you're buying high gas, that could be messing you up. Okay. Um, try to cut your overhead, but no, try to get longer trips okay um study where you live at to know when to drive and when not to drive okay because look man there's a lot of money out here okay but the but the thing is is that are you going to get it okay or are you going to be about it okay or are you going to be pouting about it on the couch okay look man it's time to get up and get this money look it's your man nate um any questions holla at me i'm out